baked in nugget in Janae. Oh, look at that. Hey. You better move. Move. Big baby. Look at that bag. Hey, I see your mama. There go my little cousin. Smile, baby, smile. Oh, no, that ain't. There she go. Big, that, look at that. Look at them L's coming in here. Look at them L's. There go all of them. Look at that, baby. Look at that. Oh, Lord, they go least. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, Jesus, I thank you. <laughs> they just came in mighty fast, Lord. What? Who is that? I see you, Big Tipson! <laughs> And then Lisa on the front line. We're here today thanking you for our time here together. We're thankful for the lifelong friendships we've made. We're grateful for the love and support of our families. We've been blessed with faculty, staff, and administrators who have challenged us. And for that, we thank you. Lord, as we leave John for Hodge High School, I ask that you help us to remember that you will always be with us. As this chapter of our lives closes, a new one begins. Hmm. On behalf of my classmates, we thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 With liberty and justice for all. Chicken nugget. <laughs> Look at Elise. Ceremony, we'd like to introduce our salutatorian, Jordan Winston. Thank you. <laughs> Faculty, administrators, parents, guests, and fellow classmates, tonight we, the class of 2018, acknowledge our achievements over the course of our high school career. This evening will be one of the most important moments of our lives, and the diplomas we shall see represent 12 years of hard work, determination, and perseverance. Hmm. First, I just want to say that God is good. Yes, He is. Yeah. All the time. Secondly, I want to thank my parents, family members, and friends for helping me to continue to strive to be a better person than I was yesterday. Hmm. As a auditorium, I would like to thank each faculty member who was so hard on us because then we may not have realized that they were only trying to help, but now we do. As a class, we have experienced laughter, smiles, and tears. We have created memories that will last a lifetime. So y'all realize that we want to spirit speak at almost every pep rally we had, and the time we lost to the freshman class, y'all know Mr. Big Gator to them. <laughs> Everybody knows that our class has the most spirit. Mm -hmm. And do y'all remember the study sessions all the time in Southern classes? I think yes. we we'll focus more on the chicken than the geometry. Mm -hmm. How about the mannequin challenge in the hallway? And here comes Andy and the freshman class. Yeah, it was priceless. And remember the songs that Miss O taught us? Yeah, they kind of stuck with us. We've had our share of struggles too. Miss Richards' tests were extensive and staying on class was hard, but we made it through. All the note taking and vocabulary words in Miss Sutton's class while freezing. Yes. <laughs> Miss Ferguson's research paper was time consuming and difficult. These were having times that we wanted to give up, but look at where we are right now because we did not. 
As we sit on this stage tonight, we realize that high school is over. We won't be seeing each other every day, hanging out at lunch, or talking in class anymore. We are all about to embark on a new journey called life. All right. <laughs> These four years have gone by fast, just like everyone said that they would. I hope that everyone has cherished each moment we have spent together, whether it was good or bad, because after tonight, we won't be coming back to high school. Everything eventually comes to an end, and tonight is high school's turn. This evening is where we say our goodbyes, but I am so lucky to have something that makes things goodbye so hard. Graduation marks an ending and a beginning. It closes the door on one chapter of our lives and opens a new one. Each of us must ask ourselves, what will I do with my life? Mm. Some of us will go on to college, some will go directly into the workforce, and some may even start families. Whatever your destination is, have faith in yourself and trust in the Lord because He will guide you in the right direction. Mm. God promises us in Psalms chapter 32, verse 8, I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. I will guide thee with mine eyes. So here it is, class of 2018, the day we have worked so hard for. I am looking forward to seeing everything that we will accomplish in the next two years. Congratulations. All right. Two peas. Hang low. They crazy.
Oh, I got one. Tonight. It's an honor to be standing here before you. And before I begin, I just want to give thanks to everyone who has helped me get to this point. First and foremost, I give thanks to God for giving me so many opportunities and giving me strength when I felt like I couldn't find my own. To my family for raising me and loving me unconditionally. And of course, to my amazing friends who have stuck by my side and has made life more enjoyable. You all don't realize just how much your love and support has meant to me. Also, can we just give a quick round of applause to all the faculty and staff at Jonesboro? Uh -huh. You are most definitely the unsung heroes, and your influence on all of our lives doesn't go unnoticed. As most of you know, I haven't been attending Jonesboro for a long time, so I can't say how much I've seen you all change to bring up embarrassing stories from the past. But from the two years that I have been here, I've learned enough about you to know that this is truly the best class and I'm glad to be a part of it. I noticed something early on about this group. It was my first day, and I was sitting here in the auditorium. We were having an assembly, and little did I know that it would be the first of many, many assemblies. I up and shouted J -H -H over and over again. It was something so simple, but I couldn't help but looking around and noticing how loud our particular class was, and how proud they all sounded just to be the class of 2018 and it hasn't been any different ever since. Knowing where you have come from is important in forming an idea of where you want to go. Alexander Still. I know that most of you plan to leave Jonesboro at some point in your life, so if I were to pass on to you any piece of advice, it'd be to never forget where you come from. Uh. Never forget the people and experiences that shaped you, because it keeps you humble, and most importantly, it keeps you motivated. And never stop being proud of who you are, no matter what you go through. And on that note, I don't think we realize all the things that we have been through in the past four years. Starting as a freshman, thankful to get away from the middle school years, but also feeling strange in a new environment. Building relationships and ending others. Having PE for two years. Trying to make a name for ourselves. And when we have finally reached the top, influencing others. Going through all of our first football games, and coming songs, and now counting down our last. And not to mention the actual school part of high school. <laughs> On behalf of the senior class, we would like to thank the school for all they have done for us. To show our appreciation, we would like to give the, the school two decorative benches to place outside of the school. Thank you from the class of 2018. Now we get to really get into the, the meat of the program with all of our senior recognition for some of the activities and the academic achievements they've accomplished. At this time, I'm going to start with the Iberio Awards. At this time, I'd like to recognize our Iberio Awards. David Odenbaugh. Second recipient, Jordan Winston. Scholarship awards will be presented by Mr. Grayson Allen. Beck, Superintendent Claxton, and school board members for the opportunity to go speak with you tonight and present the I.J. Allen Scholarship Awards. I.J. Allen was my great-grandfather, and he understood the value of education and equipping oneself well. Congratulate the seniors for your major accomplishment, and thank the parents, the teachers, and the administrators for the investment of time and energy to ensure that these young people were properly equipped for the tasks in front of them. 
looking forward, students, I encourage each of you, whether it's college or trade school or military service, to continue to get all the experience, knowledge, and equipping you can in order to be prepared for the next phase of life. You have been created to do great things. And so go get equipped so that you may be able to accomplish those great things. God bless. Have fun and be safe tonight. With that said, I would like to recognize this year's recipients of the I.J. Allen Scholarship. Receiving the $4,000 award is Chase Dawson Maxwell. Receiving the $3,000 award is Alexa Jade Garlington. The American Legion oh, so Award. Department of Louisiana to present these. It usually two uh, school awards, but tonight we do four of them. One in memory because of Mr. Culpepper. He was so he was the one that was instrumental in when I started over 20 something years doing this, and he made sure that we got the medals and things. So we be doing four instead of two. Um, that's why I took four, which represents the highest honors given to any civilians by the American Legion. I would like to thank the school officials of Jonesboro Hodge High School who have cooperated in this school award program. We also like to wish to thank the State Department of Education of Louisiana for their full endorsement of this activity. I'd like to briefly state the six principles upon which these awards are made. First one is courage, bravery in the face of opposition and danger, determination and force to do the right without public applause and regardless of personal advantage or quality of intellect. Two is honor, highly developed moral character, moral excellence, strength, and the stability of character. Three, leadership, ability to lead and to accomplish through group action, ability to work in harmony and in dealing with other leaders and accomplishing group results. Number four is patriotism, an ideal of loyal Americanism, religious tolerance, righteous freedom, and the willingness to defend our flag against our enemies, foreign or domestic. Perhaps this is the best. Number five is scholarship. Attainment is, uh, the first one. Oh, the first one is Janadius Phillips.
This is the highest honor awarded American youth by the American Legion. And this, young people, is a medal that proclaims to the world that you are the kind of Americans that we, the comrades of men and women who have given their lives and given their lives in battle, believe worthy of such an honor. We believe you have a reverence for God and an undying love for your native land. And it is our desire that wherever you go, and whatever you do, you will always be guided by the highest and holiest ideas, and this is for God and country. We love you. This award will now be presented by Miss Sonia Williams. Good evening to the Jonesboro Hodge 2018 graduates. Your life journey has only begun. Take action. Every story you ever connected with, every leader you ever admired, every little thing that you ever accomplished is a result of taking action. You have a choice. You can either, either be a passive victim of circumstance or you can be an active hero of your own life. Today, I feel very privileged and honored to stand here and acknowledge the achievement of our brilliant students who have mastered their goal. On the behalf of Sheriff Andy Brown and the Louisiana Sheriff Scholarship Program, I will present to you the 2018 Scholarship Award to Alana Lewis. Woo! All right now. Big tip <laughs> Big tip back! That girl crazy. Lord have mercy where she get it from. Yeah. <laughs> I see you. Woo, woo, woo! Woo! <laughs> they gonna get in trouble. Congratulations. The next scholarship will be presented by Miss Kathy Holmes uh, with the Jones Memorial High School 2018. On behalf of my chapter, Bradley Alumni Chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated, I'd like to present this uh, scholarship to Jessica Sampson. <laughs> Jessica Sampson, baby. <laughs> All right. Good evening. Like you said, I'm Sergeant Joseph Martillo with the Louisiana Army National Guard. Uh, I want to say congratulations to all scholarship recipients uh, and all graduating seniors. Um, I'd like to recognize two seniors on their decision in the pursuance of their education. These citizen soldiers will pay no tuition at any state-funded university. They each will receive over $50,000 in college benefits. What do you think? They are Victoria Richardson. Ooh. 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 $50,000, you pulled a brain up there and got that. Good evening to everyone. And congratulations to all the graduating uh, seniors, and I pray God speed in each of your endeavors. I stand before you to present the eighth Nola Lewis People's Scholarship, Cavorian Scholarship. This year is special, and I'll tell you why after I make the presentation. Nola was a kind and loving and caring man, a generous and gentle man. He served 40 years with Smurfy Stone, which is now West Rock. After uh, upon retirement, and he also served in the United States Marine Corps. Um, uh, August the 8th, 2010, he passed away from the deadly disease of cancer. 
but most of all, he loved children and he loved education. And what uh, gratified him more was that the fact that once they graduated high school, that they would continue their education. And this year, I present the 2018 Nolan Lewis People Memorial Scholarship to Natia Dejanay. There's your niece. This is my grandbaby too, and I'm missing the name of first. Chicken nugget! I see you, Pete! Beyonce! The reason I said that it's special is because he had teaching her how to drive, but before he became very ill, he wasn't able to You better preach that. <laughs> Thank you. EFC, which is now League 2025. It's been, that's been a lot of things. Uh -huh, that's cool. But um, it was the EOC when this student <coughs> took it uh, last year, in fact. And the Woodman of the World Award is, is presented to Chase Maxwell. Congratulations, Chase. What Chase made? Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, the next awards that I would like to give are to three young men who I've noticed they've all they've already been awarded things like for maybe American Legion or patriotism or something. So you'll know that they, when you see them that they are giving individuals, and they have uh, have Chase Maxwell. <laughs> Matthew yeah. Reed yeah. and Jay Phillips, Janaya Phillips. I just, I just want to say how important it is to me. I don't always get to give blood. Sometimes I can't and sometimes I just don't. But these guys always are there. They're always ready to give. Sometimes they can't give if they play a sport at that particular time, but they'll catch them the next round. So they, I just, I 
think it's great that we have students who care enough to save a life. A scholarship with uh, Jordan Winston, would you please come forward and let me give this to you. Okay, this scholarship is uh, for outstanding academic ach achievement from uh, Santa Sorrel Civic Club, and it is for five hundred dollars. And also a one thousand dollar Burger King Scholar Scholarship. All right. That's what's up. Oh, you have to write an essay and everything to get those um, scholarships. Alana Lewis, please come forward. Woo! Oh. Oh. Burger King. <laughs> 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 I hope it's a Burger King. Alana is receiving an impact making provisions for all children. All right. Uh, this uh, is in an yes. undisclosed amount, but it will be paid in two equal installments directly to her for the upcoming fall and spring semesters. All right now. <laughs> no, ma'am. That's me. Let's go, Lord. Hey. Excuse me. I see you there. Excuse me. Okay. I'm trying uh, to tell you a story. Natia Burke, please come forward. You gotta wait till I turn my camera off. Okay, I'm proud to present this scholarship uh, from the Lincoln Parish Retired Educators Association in the amount of $500. Jessica Sampson. Oh. What you got? 